Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of this Newcastle United career mode. Final month of the season, we have got Tottenham here, we've got Leicester, a doubleheader, including an FA Cup final. Ladies and gentlemen, we could win our second trophy of the career mode. We have then got Nottingham Forest and Wolves, which is a bit of a pleasant end to the season, but we have got to make sure we get maximum points from the remaining four games, because we could still very well miss out on top four. It's going to be very, very interesting. I mean, hell, we have got, of course, the top four battle between Man City and Chelsea getting very interesting. We have a game in hand. We've got high goal difference. Should be okay if we do get the points, but we've got the next game against Spurs. If we lose that game, not only does it become very hard for us to get top four, but we're bringing Spurs into the fight as well. So yeah, let's let's not hopefully allow that to happen. We have got Diego Carlos out with a red card, suspended, but we are going to go and really just play with the main team aside from him. I think he'll be the only outs and of course still the injury to uh, Anthony. Got him and also Paul Pogba still. I would have thought these guys would have come back before the end of the season, but he's coming back in two weeks. Not in time for the FA Cup final. Anthony in three. He might not come back at all this season. But I'll swap out Diego Carlos. We'll play this game. We'll hopefully beat Spurs. We will hopefully knock out any chance of Tottenham getting top four and their chances right here and there. Find our way back up into top four. It's so crucial. And then we can flip our attention over to Leicester and eventually the FA Cup final. Oh, Nelly, a gigantic contest this. Let's see if we can get the win that we so desperately need. If we lose this, we're going to make things incredibly harder. I would almost argue like percentage point wise, if we don't win this game, our chances of going and getting top four go from like 40, 50% down to maybe like 33 or God, maybe even to the 20s. It's not looking good if we don't win this game. So, so important. We've got, of course, Alan Sam Maximan, the current leading goal scorer in the Premier League. We've got uh, Lacroix filling in for Diago Carlos. I mean, seriously, we need this. See if Bruno Guimaraes can't bang in a brace like he did in real life recently. Here we go, off and underway. Oh, cannot lay a tackle at the moment. The little spin, Mendy, he somehow got dispossessed again there. Vlahovic, what a block from Lacroix. Oh my God, that is massive. And now it starts a counter-attack and we have got their five at the back all pretty well set. I need James Brown to make some sort of a move. It's not listening to me, this fucking shit game. It finally gets it in. What a ball, the shot. Will he get there first? No, cleared away. Oh, nearly the chance, but not quite. Oh my God, this idiot. Oh, this fucking, everything is, oh, hang on a minute. Wait, maybe it's giving me a bra. Maybe it's giving me something. Maybe it's giving me something. Marino, I was about to slate this bloody game for having a player run right into me. We nearly lost possession because of it, but Marino, totally open. This guy continues to score the big goals for me. It's absolutely insane. What a curler into the top corner again. Lovely finish. Just so much space. No one on him. Fine, let him settle. Let him turn. He's in goal scoring form. That's an amazing strike. And a 1-0 lead given to Newcastle. 11 goals, Mikel Marino. I don't know if he's catching Alan and Maximin's 18, but still a big goal nonetheless, and I will take it. Here we go. Quadras pretty nicely, I would say there. Good job, mate. Well done. And now we can start moving it on to Litz. Pass it off again. Off to the left-hand side. Just go to where the space is. Go to where the numbers are. Good playing. Maybe move it into the middle here. Still more space. Or hopefully Joel Linton can make the right run. Or hopefully we can send in Alan Sam Maximin, of course, Session Young. But Gabriel Jesus, we just, every time the chance to shoot comes, there's someone in the way. Oh. Like this counter-attack, it's looking nice, you know. Joel Linton, we're running into basically three Tottenham defenders here. No one to the left. Oh, the gap's open, though. Just try to bang it in. Oh, I knew it would get stopped. But unfortunately, no goal there. Oh, surely this time. Yeah! Ho-ho! We'll get it on this occasion. Gabriel Jesus smashes home number two. We are putting away Tottenham Hotspur. I just saw him the right side of the defender with Sanchez just a little too far away to be able to get back in time. Gabriel Jesus, we've been playing him out wide since we've been starting James Brown and hasn't been given as much of an opportunity to get the shots off, but he gets it that time. We're taking another big step for Champions League and for the top four. We're not done yet. We're far from it. Tottenham are going to go and get themselves a corner here. That's a really good delivery. Only Sam Maximan had to clear and did and Sanchez and still Dyer. And up the middle, that's a block. Only right to one of theirs again. Delit another one. Marino, little layoff here. I see Gabriel Jesus. I can see Joel Linton at the back stick. He's going to be off side. He went to go to volley that in instead of heading it in. It was still stopped anyway. My God. And the fact that Lloris just sort of dealt with it so easily, like it's smashed at him and he's just gone, eh, whatever. 
But okay, at least we still lead two. We could have been three, but I'm taking it. We're in a very good control of this game. Oh, here we come again. Brown, a little one off to the left. Sam Axman's going to be offside. Plays it back to him. How'd that get through? Shot blocked from Dyer. Jesus plays it all the way back. A little further back than I was anticipating. And hopefully, what? Oh! I thought we laid that off to perfection and Joel Linton fired it in the top corner. Did this, had this gone in, it would have been incredible, but it's just missed. I feel you, Joel Linton. That would have been such a banger. Oh, Lacroix sticks in a foot. Where is that pass going to? I, I honestly, blocked there at least, thankfully. And maybe now we can start a counter-attack here. We are going to have Alan Sam Axman. It's just about timing him through, which we have done. The man on 18 Premier League goals. Shot there is saved by Lloris. My man, you're not getting a 20 with finishing like that, my son. Well, Sam Axman's just kept that in play. Kimmerayish. Overlapping run here will be beautiful. Oh, Mendy, he's got to get in. He's got to. I can see the back stick. It's got to be. Surely, number three will not come in this half. Oh, Marino, man. That had got to have been buried, especially when you've already put one away today. Lacroix, another huge tackle. My man is having an amazing game down back. We haven't had to do much, but any time we have, it's been Lacroix and Le oh, yes! Marino doesn't score the easy given one. He will go and get the absolute screamer for himself. Number two, and that should seal it. What is it with this defense and just giving Marino all the time in the world? The first one, he had so much time in the box. This time, he's got a whole gap to run into. And yeah, why not have a pop in the top corner? He just finds it with ease, the lad. He's absolutely been fantastic this season, and he has gone and sealed this game. Love that. Oh, Trippier. Son has done so much to you all day. But finally, we get one through. And now James Brown is away. And James Brown's going to run. And I'm not going to be able to cut this. I might have to shoot. No, I will. I will. It'll be San Maximum to seal the game. And Alan San Maximum will get his goal. One away from 20 Premier League. A little tap in for him. But that will seal it. Icing on the cake. James Brown running hard. I mean, Alan San Maximum took ages to finally actually get running. But when he did, look at the ease in which he just... Oh, he just blasted on by Nicholas Saul to get to the back post for the tap-in. Conte can't believe it, but mate, you're not the first team that's come to St. James Park and been rolled. Unfortunately, there have been other teams that have come to our yard and done, unfortunately, the same to us. Ergo, Brighton in the last game. But no, this time it is going to be the right side of a drumming, a 4-0 victory. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Only three more Premier League games remain in this season. If we can get all nine points, we will guarantee Champions League next season. Hopefully we see City, Chelsea, someone like that slip up. I don't know. We could go higher up the table, but we want that top four spot. Title's out of the question, but we have done it today. That win, very thankfully, will move us up into fourth. Looks like Chelsea had a game recently, so... Whatever that result was meant that they're now third. I thought we could have been third at the end of that last game, but still, whatever. ASM is also three goals away from Sadio Mane, currently his next closest rival to the Golden Boot. We will see whether or not he gets that done, but either way, we have now got a double header against Leicester City coming up. This and then the FA Cup final. So we got two games to play against them. Diego Carlos is back. Anthony is still unfortunately injured, but... Paul Pogba, we could play him if we really wanted to. I don't think I will for this game against Leicester. I might sim and jump in if need be. The FA Cup, if he can play it, if he's fit enough, I might do it. Leicester City are way out of contention for the Champions League. Europa League, I think, is a bit of a fair, uh, fair way off for them too. But I tell you what, we've actually been having some pretty decent little sim games as of late. I would like to think hopefully it can continue here. Then we can play the full game of the FA Cup final at Wembley. Oh, there's a shot and a save, thankfully, from Hendo. And it took a while to get the ball up to Alan Sam Maximum, but finally we do. And anything going to come from this? Maybe, hopefully. We'll see. It's opening up there a bit. Kim Rice was stripped. Look at the space for Gabriel Jesus, but what is he going to do with it? That's a cross-field ball. Will it work? Alan Sam Maximum's been able to hold it, but just run away and probably run right in to our own player there, I swear. Mendy. Mendy has run into two players in this one episode. Our mark coming up. In comes the corner. Picked up by Henderson. I'll let them have an attack here. He's just giving a ride. 
Back to him again. They'll score this too. Oh, thank God it's a clearance. I swear, I'm, I'm not super happy with how the whole game's gone, to be fair. I might jump in here. I would love to go straight from the kickoff here. Straight from the kickoff. Where's the space? Run forward into it. Maybe not going to happen. Not yet. No, no. All right, my midfielders don't know what they're doing. Probably lay off and Joel Linton and back for him. And I can see on the right-hand side... No, it's actually not picked out the right man at all there. But Marino has his shot saved. It should have gone to Jesus. I don't know why it didn't. Clearly not a powerful enough through ball attempt. You need an on-the-money delivery here. Delit, no. Just keeping the possession, bro. Oh, we nearly got the ball off in there. We nearly did again. It's gone back to the goalkeeper. We're pressuring, but not getting the ball. And they're running down the clock, man. Oh, we have taken out Vardy there. Strong challenge. Hard challenge. It should only be a yellow. And I assume that is what the uh, Delit will end up getting. Okay. That is manageable for us. We're going to bring on uh, the, uh, the of course, cousin of Erling Haaland. We'll take off the Slim Reaper. Surely this will be oh, too far to score from. And it will be. And now if we can immediately throw this ball up and... Maybe switch it to the right side. Hope the run keeps coming. Marino it's really going to open up. He's going to be off. He's going to be off. Oh, that was the chance. Oh, horrific. Oh, I can't believe it. That defender came forward at an amazing moment. It's going to have to be a late, late winner for either side. Saka, what a fucking sharp turn that shit is. And another shot and saved by Henderson. I don't know how much stoppage time there's going to be. But Leicester might have the only chance here. Three minutes. Vardy. Still going to fall at his feet. Of course it will. Tackle Sam Maxman. We're just... We're not going to have a chance. It's over now. Time is just going to beat us. We won't have a chance. The only person that can win it from here would be them. It's another decent ball in. Again, it's going to bounce right for one of theirs. Lamar gets away from them. We're done for now. We just need to make the tackle. That's not bad. Knock it up forward. Oh my God. Gabriel Jesus, please don't stuff this up. It's a gift. It's a gift. Gabriel Jesus has gone and won the game in the final minutes. Oh, what a chance. Leicester have fallen asleep. Oh, there's no way that that just happened. There's no way that has just gone and happened. Gabriel Jesus bangs it in near post. After getting all the space in the world, he burns his man. I thought about going with the finesse, but I know so many times in this game, I go for the finesse. I lift it up a bit too much. It gets saved. I change my mind at the last second to smash it in. It it works only just Gabriel Jesus. Oh, the savior, our Messiah. He has risen again and saved us again. And a 1 0 victory in the end. We are still top four, still on for Champions League. This place explodes, and Leicester City have been beaten in the 90th minute. Stoppage time again. History repeats. Life imitates art. And it's another big moment. Hell, it's a Brazilian as well that does it. Honest to God, like literally just a fast break in the last minute of the game and a Brazilian gets on the end of a chance and scores it to win it. Just literally a repeat without fail. And now we will hopefully get to do it to him again, this time at Wembley. Although I'd like for it to be a lot more straightforward, honestly. Hells yeah, baby. All right, let's take a press conference. I only take them for the special occasions. Doesn't get much more special than a cup final. And an FA Cup final of which Newcastle have won like I don't know, is it like six or seven of them? They've won a fair few. Probably so, well, out of like every other club in English football, they've got to be top five maybe for FA Cups one or pretty damn close. We've set our standards high and I think hopefully we've got the mental edge now. That's for damn sure. It was a narrow 1-0 win in your last game. Hell yeah, it was. It looks pretty evenly matched, but will the boys be looking to score more goals today? You're damn right we will. I just want my lads to win. I would love to win it by 5-0, but I just need to make sure that we do whatever we can to win. Is fitness an issue here for both teams since we just played? It's the same for both teams. It literally is the same for both teams. We literally just played each other at the same time. There'll be no fitness excuses for this match. Seems as though in the way of fitness that my players seem all right. Now, the big question though, is Paul Pogba fit? It's hard to tell he still has that little Band-Aid logo over him. I might go ahead and chuck him, possibly I reckon into, at least on the bench. Joel Linton, if I sub him on there, I don't know if we'll be able to play him or not. Look at their team, by the way. They are so gassed, and ours are so fit and fresh. How is that even possible? It looks like most of the players that played against us are in this are in this game too, and yet their players are gassed versus ours. I don't know what's different about it, but I'm I'm promising you, 
I don't know. Maybe they just worked harder in our game and we just slacked. Whatever. We got the win and hopefully we'll get the next win. In this FA Cup final, will we win our second trophy of the season? We have added one piece of silverware to the trophy cabinet this season. Will we add piece number two? I got high hopes, high expectations. We've already beaten Leicester City once, literally within the same week. Why can't we do it again? The current reigning champions of the FA Cup in real life, Leicester City, they make the final again, but this time they take on little old Newcastle. Who will be the ones to come out triumphant? We've been in this stadium. We've won a trophy already this season. We just beat Leicester City. Surely everything is going for us today. It has to be. James Brown will get it kicked off. I would love for him to be the one that scores today, but only time will tell. We're off. We're underway. Will it be another tense game that gets decided in the last second? Or will it be a much more straightforward game for either side? Got Pogba here. I had my doubts over whether or not I'd start him or bring him off the bench. I am starting him. He can play. Marino, they're sitting off us early. Not really getting an awful lot to keep it moving to, though. I can see the back stick. He'll, he'll get position. Brown, not quite awkward. Schmeichel jumps and brings it down. Lovely footwork there. Marino, that's a ball. Back stick. Delivery, and that is straight to Schmeichel. Gabriel Jesus going to send away James Brown. Brown, get the defender to come to him. Didn't work out that way. Oh, Marino gets a bit of a bump. Didn't really work that chance as well as we could have, and we're a bit wasteful to start this. Lovely tackle from Bruno Gimaraes. Paul Pogba back on his return. Layoff. Another one. Didn't really go to the man I wanted. It eventually does get to him, but a bit late, though. Brown, Marino, pass. We're still waiting for the chance. Pogba, I'm still having to pass this thing around to get the look. Pogba may be here, though. Super tight angle. Going for it, and Schmeichel just gets a hand to it. Oh, when they sit back like this, it makes it tricky to get a look like we really want. But anyway, lovely pass in there from Mendy. Pogba, seeing a bit of it early. Chance coming up here. Marino, it's just going to have to be a downtown effort. Again, I went to go to right. Wanted to go to Jesus. The defender didn't come. Oh, my Lord. Every chance I'm getting, I'm not getting the best look ever. This is turning into one of those games where I'm just going to dominate the shots. But finally, Marino will be the one to head home and give us the lead at Wembley. The in-swinger from the corner, finding the head of the Spaniard again. He just gets a bit of a bump off of the man that was on him. Bit of separation and heads straight at Schmeichel again. But it's too powerful. He gets a hand up, but he can't get it up in time. He's got two on him. Head it literally right at him. I'm surprised Michael didn't get onto that. But he hasn't. And Mikel Moreno gives us the lead. We have got Diego Carlos riding his back. It may as well be Newcastle United itself on his back. God, he has been mega. He is right up there in the player of the season debate for sure. Oh, wow. And halftime has snuck up on me. We have had so much of the possession, so many attacks that I think it just flew on by. In the end, the only goal we have gotten so far has been the corner, the header from Mikel Moreno. That is what separates us. And I'm just glad we're going into halftime with at least some sort of lead on, on paper. Because man, after dominating the game the way we have, if we didn't have some sort of a lead, I would have been fuming. Blocked it off. No. Indeed, he's too quick, man. Indeed, he is way too quick. Gimaraes is going to be gassed after this game. He's run back and actually dealt with so many runs down the wing today. It's crazy. Love that pass from Gimaraes. Sam Maximin. Brown. Chance. Pogba. Oh, was that going in? Or was it being cleared? Schmeichel, I guess it was... Whoa. Whoa. Sam Maximin. Whoa. Oh, crossbar. Alan San Maximin was given a gift and he could only hit the woodwork. Oh, and what's happened after it? Lamar gets the equalizing goal literally only a couple of seconds later. Almost straight after getting possession from the miss from ASM, they equalize the FA Cup final. I are uh, just typical. Just so typical. We didn't get anyone on Lamar. The curler into the top corner. How freaking obvious would that, was that, man? Of course that would happen. Oh, Alan San Maximin, you have explaining to do. You have a lot of explaining to do. That is unbelievable. How are you so great and then so hogwash the very next day? Oh, now that's a slide there. A yellow card for Delit, who's already, I think, no, he hasn't had one today. That was in the other game. Oh, that was in the other game against Leicester. God, I had flashbacks. I thought for a second I was going to be down to 10. Well, oh, that's real good from Sam Maximin. 
Bit of a chance of a shot. No, it's going to get awkward. It's definitely going to be grabbed by Schmeichel. Was hoping for an awkward moment. Didn't quite happen. Trippier is giving it away as he birch and Trippier fighting for it. Trippier, oh, he's not going to pick it off. Justin, they'll keep it. Gabriel Jesus, pass off here. Another one, Brown. Chance maybe we could win the game here with a good enough attack. Out wide once more. Look at the numbers that we have up here, man. We just need a good ball in. It's going to be San Maximin. It's going to be cleared. It's going to be Mendy, Pogba. Back for Mendy. Into the middle here. A layoff. Brown will smash it in and win the FA Cup in the last minute of the game. We've done it to Leicester again. The new Alan Shearer, the first ever. Oh, James Brown. It was a back and forth game. They did eventually get a few numbers in, but a nice little layoff from Gabriel Jesus. And in the end, James Brown had the whole goal. He had to do the 360, the spin, but strike into the top corner. Brendan Rodgers is fuming. Every Leicester City fan, half of Wembley, is devastated. The other half is joyous. They see a fellow Geordie get his sixth in sixth in the FA Cup and at Wembley. They won't have any time. They won't. It's over. FA Cup champions, Newcastle United, maybe showing my fraudness of a fan here, but I'm not sure which... FA Cup number this is for the club. Is it eight? Is it nine? I don't know. Is it six? Is it seven? But it is the 2024-2025 FA Cup title. A waste of chances in that game, but in the end, we find a way. And it had to be a Geordie to do it as well, to deliver it in the last few seconds. Scenes pandemonium. What a way to do it. Oh, black and white ribbons on a trophy. God, can you ever get sick of it? I won't. Hopefully not in the future anyway. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, goodness, yes. Every time we come to Wembley, we seem to leave with smiles and with silverware. It is Kieran Trippier lifting up once more. We have done it, ladies and gentlemen. The season is not over yet. We need to secure that Champions League place next season, but if we can do that, We'll have secured Champions League. We'll have secured a Carabao Cup and an FA Cup. The first titles in over 60 years for Newcastle. I dare well say, even though maybe not the biggest prizes on offer were taken, but we've still had a damn successful season. 2-1 champions of the FA Cup, of the Carabao Cup, and now we will have to just secure our spot in the top four. And look at this. Anthony is now back from his injury. I know Pogba played and was pretty fresh, I think Anthony could hopefully just come straight in as well. There is only like a four day break. I mean, Nottingham Forest away is the game that we have left. I'll still probably keep Anthony on the bench though. I mean, I've been rolling with this front three for so long. It's done so well for me. I think I might just leave it as is for these last two games. This is how the table currently looks, by the way. We have got Manchester City, ladies and gentlemen, losing their last game. Who did they play? It appears to have been Chelsea. So that helps us out massively. That's a huge game, by the way, right there in the Premier League. But Chelsea won it. They are on 73 points. We have a game in hand. We have Manchester City. If we can win this game against Nottingham Forest, we will have secured our top four spot. And then at that point, we'll pretty much be just, I don't know, battling with Chelsea for finishing third and fourth. And to be honest, I kind of don't care. I just really want a top four. It all essentially means the same to uh, a club that has all the money in the world. You're just fighting over what prize money for third and fourth, aren't you? But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we have gone and done it. We've won the FA Cup. We've won the Carabao Cup. We win this game. We will win our spot in the Champions League next season. Let's just get it done, lads. This will be Nottingham Forest's final game in the Premier League this season. They are 20th. They are 10 points away from 19th. I think they have like 16 points all season. Yeah, they are. They did not. They did not really do a good job in the Premier League this season. I think they maybe came up a, a smidge too early, possibly. San Maximin only needs to stay away from Sadio Mane. Romelu Lukaku and Harry Kane are getting in the mix as well, but whether or not they'll They'll get to him in time, it yet it's yet to be seen. Maybe if I get the chance, I might try to square it to Sam Maximin, even if I've got a slightly better thing on. I don't know. Let's see if we can absolutely secure him this title, this golden boot. I know it doesn't particularly count as a team trophy, but it's still another piece of silverware. Carabao Cup, FA Cup, Premier League Golden Boot. We can take it. Oh, hello. Big gap. They've got so many down back, but Brown is away. And a little dink over the keeper. It won't work. Oh, and it did not bounce to one of ours. Getting back, defending. Nice job, Alan Sam Maxman. Okay, now we have the ball back again. Gimmerich, pass off there. Gimmerich, if you want to keep moving forward, should have created a bit of a gap there. It might create something interesting. 
Still no. Pogba's getting forward. Sweat across. Brown shot. Still a chance for Brown. Marino. Will one of you please put this away? Oh, what is that finishing? Marino charging forward. Marino, Marino, they're just oh, parting the Red Sea. Wow, the keeper will still save it. Maybe telegraphed it too easily. And swinging ball to Litz in a great position. Header is too wide. Wow, don't tell me we're going to just waste this chance, man. Slide. No, he's not got him there. And it's a red card for Kieran Trippier. Oh, boy. Oh, great. I thought there was a chance of him swinging that leg and getting that. But in the end, it's not gone through the side of him. It's gone through the back of him. Oh, dear, dear, we are in trouble. Bruno Gimaraes will have to be the unfortunate sacrificial lamb, so to speak. He's off now. Lacroix is going to come into the game. They're going to have a free kick from 24 yards out. Play it short, I reckon. Oh, Pogba's not even going with him. But Cafu's header is thankfully a bit weak. Oh, hello. Wow, Mendy, that's actually probably too heavy a through ball. But it could float a little one in here. Have Pogba shoot. Have it saved again. This goalkeeper's going to finish with about double-digit saves today. It's madman. Gabriel Jesus runs around into some space. Marino, Pogba. Oh, that's the goal that goes in. Really? Whatever, man. It's the shot. That had to be so accurate to find a way home, and it has. Craziness here. The layoff. I still thought this would have been blocked. I still thought it would have been too tight an angle. But bloody Paul Pogba has found the perfect angle, and he needed to. With the way that this keeper's been saving him today, that is the extraordinary shot that was required. We have missed him. That is for certain. Joel Linton filling in, doing an okay job. But Pogba is back. And back in the score sheets. And now we lead. And now we are surely on our way to securing Champions League. Oh, is that a foul? No, it's not. That was another hard challenge. But thankfully, nothing coming of it. Lacroix, pass. That time, thank you. It gets through. Marino's going to run it on forwards. No good there. I, despite being down to 10 men, it feels like I'm the one that has so much space to play with. It's crazy. No one's getting on Brown. Once again, until the right last second. Sam Maxman, tough angle. Kind of got a bit of a bump, but no foul. He doesn't go down. I wish he would. Chance there. Pa! Oh, no! Why are the keepers in this fucking game so OP? They're ruining what would have been unbelievable goals, man. What a strike that would have been. It just refused to go. Oh, my God. I want to fucking you, man. You're going down, bro. Why are you pulling out bloody Neuer-esque performances like this, bro? I can't believe it. Marino, make him pay. McKenna clears. It's another corner. I'm still fuming, bro. <sighs> All right, there's a bit of space. Delitz, looping header. That time it gets saved. Of course, again, more understandable than the last one. James Brown, bro, if you put just a, like a third more power on the bar of it, you would have been, oh, one of the greatest goal scorers ever, or you would have been one of the goal scorers of one of the greatest goals ever. It just didn't happen. I'm getting like... Mario Mandzukic vibes in the Champions League final, but just no. Oh dear, add it to the compilation of some of the greatest almost goals of all time. How, how devastating. God, it would have been so handy to have had that goal as well. Still being down to 10 men and all. That, that would have, oh man. Still having to deal with the defending. Oh wow, wow, that's actually a really good hand a minute. Calm down, calm it down, calm it down, calm it down. You know what he's going to do. There you go, Lacroix, good job. It's been all right since coming on. Oh, God, what a fucking horrid bit of defending right there. We just, we still seem so, uh, when we're in possession, when we get forward, we seem to have space. But down back, I just don't seem to have anyone. Felt like I had so little support. I made a bad mistake of it there with uh, Courtois, or not with Courtois, with bloody Lacroix. I don't know why I got that mixed up. But yeah, the back heel is this fucking weird ass passes that you just don't expect the AI to do. Like, why is he back healing it there? So Norwich will grab a goal back then. We are now level down to 10 men, and it could have been two. I just can't let that other chance go. Man, I'm going to belt the shit out of the goalkeeper in the changing rooms for being too good. We float a ball in here. Pogba, cheeky pass, maybe. Alan Sam Maxman. Tight angle. Goal! ASM gets it for us. He's up to 20 now in the Premier League golden boot race. We were just sitting, waiting with Pogba for a chance to come, and in the end, Alan Sam Maxman off the ball. I didn't ask him to do that. That is pure AI. He just made that run into that space. Gave himself a look, and he has buried it. Nice job. Horvath is kind. If he wanted to save that, he would have. I already know. This guy saves anything he wants to, but he lets us have that one, so thank you. And ASM is up to 20. 
Premier League goals. He's surely getting the golden boot unless Mane can bang in like five with two games to go. Now we've just got to see out the win if we can. Brown heading it away. Can we get this one with ASM? No. Love that. Lacroix. Pass. Another pass. Oh, doesn't quite get through. We'll get there first though. What a ball. What a pass that is. Oh, Brown, just finish. You have to. And he does it. This is what I'm telling you. This keeper will save anything he wants. Why is it always the no one, the nobody keepers for the nothing teams that are just goated? Unbelievable, man. Come on, Delit. See this out. Finish this fucking game. Win this fucking header. A shot, maybe. Oh, that'll work as well. That will definitely do, Matthias. Thank you. <laughs> he couldn't get the header right up in the air. He sits underneath and goes, you know what? Let me just volley this in. And that is some finish. Maybe if I get a chance in the future, I'll let Delit With Cafu, like, all up on his... Bloody behind as well. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Can I get a hoya? Oh, yeah. That is a 3-1 victory now. For sure, that is three points. Go on, Wimmer. Whack the ball in. We'll just clear the thing away. Bloody Henderson can hold it. This is why we love the Premier League. We beat 20th placed Nottingham Forest, who have won four games all year, pretty much, to see ourselves through to Champions League football. We have done it through some beautiful goals, but... Oh, the one goal that would have been the goal was sadly denied for us. Ah, well, it, it is unfortunate, but it is done and dusted. We get an ASM goal as well to take him to 20. It's a successful day all up, aside from the red card and the unfortunate loss of the clean sheet. But it's Champions League football. What more do you want? I guess a Premier League title would be good and the Champions League itself too. But uh, yeah, no, we will take it as we get it it is liverpool's title it is us in the top four nothing will change that we could finish third we could finish fourth again i'm um, not fast so i say we move on forward we'll send the last game against wolves let's see if we can go five for five in may Mane would need to get a hat trick in order to beat alisane maximum i just surely it won't happen oh yeah typical of course and dan burn who we sold to wolves scored it who got our goal it was mikel marino kulisevsky got the other one for wolves Ah, oh, typical. Well, again, it means we'll probably finish fourth. Maybe there's a chance we're still third if Chelsea drew or lost their game. Uh, whatever. Yeah, damn it. It means we are fourth, but it's all the same. Third, fourth. Who cares? We have got our spot in the Champions League next season, but now who wins the golden boot? Hells to the air, baby. Mane got his goal in his game, but it wasn't enough. And Alan Sam Maximum wins the golden boot with 20. That's my guy right there. Alan Sand Maximin finishing with 20 goals, 11 assists as well. And is he the player of the tournament? You betcha he is. Player of the tournament in the Premier League and the Golden Boot winner. It's going to be hard to say he's not player of the season for Newcastle. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You break down the stats. It's incredibly close between him and Mikel Marino. Mikel Marino actually finishes with one more goal contribution from a game less played and he was fantastic. And I would say that I think from games that I actually played, Mikel Marino probably scored slightly more goals than Alan San Maximin did. But will I factor that in? I, I, I'm not particularly sure. We've also got James Brown, who if he had played just a handful more games, he could have been the player of the season. Gabriel Jesus obviously was sensational, but it really is down to these two, I think. And it's going to be a tough decision, you know. Listen, it's, tr it's quite a tricky call. I think I'm going to go with Alan San Maximin. Alan San Maximin for player of the season. It'd be weird if he won the golden boot. He got the player of the tournament for the Premier League. He was player of the season, but he wasn't Newcastle's player of the season. Just wouldn't make any sense. So Alan San Maximin's going to get it with huge, huge, uh, you know, shout outs to Mikel Marino for his incredible season as well. But ASM will be featured on the sleeve of Newcastle United's kits. His footballer's version will be on the sleeve next season. And trust me, boys, I've seen next season's kits and they are fire. I cannot wait to show them to you next episode. Transfer offer coming in here for Kieran Trippier. He's 33 now, 83 rated. We had a $53 million offer from Barca. Now I feel like I've missed out on the money for him. But again, we are Newcastle. We are going to be rolling in the cash. And I'd still maybe like to keep Kieran Trippier because we can still get used for him at 83 rating. But I think we'll definitely be looking for a fullback next season. This is what I'm going to need from you, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me who I sign. I've got Kieran Trippier here at right back. He is the only player that's below an 85 rating in the team aside from James Brown. But the question also to be asked, will James Brown start up front with Gabriel Jesus and Alan Sam Maximin or... Do we bring, now that he's fit, Anthony back into the starting 11 and have Jesus return to striker and have Brown on the bench alongside with Tarland? I mean, it's going to be 
a hell of a decision for us to make, but James Brown was sensational this season. Again, do we need to pull up his stats? I mean, just look at this, Brev. Seriously, you've got 30 goal contributions coming from 40 games. If you compare that to Anthony, 20 and 34, that's also not bad, but... I don't know, man. To have a Geordie up top, only 20 years of age, he's got that potential. I mean, Anthony's only 24. It's literally like, what do I do? This is a terrible yet awesome position to be in. Yeah, it's an awesome yet terrible position to be in. Again, a wrap up of everything. We came forth in the Premier League. Liverpool ended up winning it. We can have a look and maybe see who got relegated. Of course, we know Nottingham Forest went down. Burnley and Brighton. So Southampton, Watford, Fulham, they stay up. FA Cup, won by yours truly. Of course, Carabao Cup won by yours truly. And if you're keeping tabs on the Champions League, Manchester United made the final, but Juventus finally have won a Champions League in their history. They're the one club, I'd say they're the biggest club in the world that has yet to win a Champions League. Yes, I know Arsenal is a team that hasn't won it. And yes, I do not take that back. I suppose all that's left for you guys to do, ladies and gentlemen, is of course, let me know who you think I should be signing at right back. Who should I replace Kieran Trippier with and any other signings you think I might make. It's crazy how I mentioned a right back and a certain Trent Alexander-Arnold wants to pop up for me. Is that a sign? I don't know, lads, but Kieran Trippier being the captain as well, I'm also going to have to think of someone to give the armband to, so that's also a discussion. Do we give it to one of our more senior, higher-rated players like Alan Sam Maximin, Mateus De Litt, Mikel Marino maybe a shout, Pogba, Anthony, I mean, Jesus, Give him a Reich, I don't know. Or do we go maybe like a Henderson? I mean, James Brown, if he's going to start every game, I, I don't know. He's still very young. It's, it's actually a bit of a tough decision, but let me know who you think. Who do we get it right back? Who do we make captain? Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Until the next episode and the next season of the Newcastle United career mode, I might also be cramming more per episode going forward as well too. So yeah, we'll see if we can really uh, get a deep way into the season in the next episode with the transfer window. We'll see, we'll wait and see. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it for me. Thank you all for watching. Catch you for the next one. See you later and bye-bye.